Now the Apple TV 4K Ultra HD screensavers are really some of the nicest screensavers I think you can get on any device right now. Maybe because of the pandemic and the lockdown, but just seeing amazing scenery like this, I just think it looks amazing. Now I did cover this in a video about a year ago on how we can enjoy these amazing screensavers on our Fire Stick or really any Android device. But that process required you to install multiple applications and the issue was you had to type in manual ADB commands. And as you guys know on this channel, I do try and find the best and the easiest way on how we can just get the most from our device. And with that being said, let me now present the TDUK screensaver manager. So no more typing, no more ADB, just one click, open this application, select the option that you want to enable the custom screensaver. You can choose your timeout and also the device timeout. Click on save. And in a couple of seconds, we can now enjoy all of these amazing screensavers across all of our devices. So do take a moment to hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're started. new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. So I'm doing my demonstration on the Amazon 4K Fire Stick, but I've also tested this process on the Fire Stick Lite and also the second generation Fire TV Cube. Now the first thing you want to do is just go over to your settings, go to My Fire TV, and just make sure inside developer options, you have both these options enabled. Once you've done that, let's now press the home key and let's now open up Downloader. We can use the short code, which is just 53402. Let's type that in and click on go. Now, when you get to my website, you want to head over to the hamburger menu, which is the one with the three lines and click on that. And let's now click on tutorials. And the latest tutorial in the list will be how we can actually use these Apple TV 4K screensavers on any of our devices. So let's open that up. And here we are. So here's some information about the screensaver. This is how you enable the um, ADB options. Let's scroll down. And under all of that, we have the two apps. We have the Aerial Dream screensaver. So this is the application that pulls those Apple TV screensavers directly from those Apple servers. And we have my new TDUK screensaver manager. So let's click on the first one. Let's scroll down. But under all of that, we have the green download button. So this is the one that you always want to look for. Let's click on that and click on install. So that's the Aerial Dream. We can now delete this application just to get that space back. Let's press the back button once and let's get the new TDUK screensaver manager and click on the green download button. And here are the two applications. So this is the latest version of Aerial Dream and this is my new TDUK screensaver manager. Now, if you're following this on an Android TV device like the Chromecast with Google TV or maybe the Nvidia Shield, on those devices, you can just open up the screensaver, go down to open screensaver settings and on Android TV devices, when you click on this, this will then open up the screensaver settings menu where you can choose the Aerial Dream as your new screensaver and you can set things like the timeout. It's only on the Amazon devices that when you click on this, it doesn't actually do anything. So on the Amazon devices, we have to use the new toolbox. So let's press the home key. And let's now open up the new screensaver manager for the first time. So let's click on that. So the first thing the application does, it checks to see what's the current active screensaver. And we can see on my device, it just says screensaver. And that basically means the stock Amazon screensaver. Now here we have just two options. We have enable aerial dream and disable aerial dream. So if I click on enable and we get a message straight away saying that the aerial dream is now the default screensaver. And if you haven't installed aerial dream, you get an error here saying that aerial dream is not available. So once you've done that, we can now set the timeout values. So the default values on a fire stick is five minutes. So after five minutes, the screensaver will start. Now, if you want to increase that, I can just click on this and I can say I want to start it after 20 minutes, for example. But for this demonstration, let's just do uh, two minutes and click on next. Now the sleep timeout is a timeout before your screen goes blank. Now this is either 20 minutes or 30 minutes, depending on which Amazon device you have. 
Now, some of you may say that you don't actually want the device to go to sleep at all, or maybe like in two, three hours. So if that's your use case, you can click on this and just say, I wanted to do it in about 900 minutes. So that basically means on my device now, after 900 minutes, the screen will go blank. So you really can customize it exactly how you like it. Let's now click on save. You get the message that the values have now been saved successfully. Let's back out of this. Let's now open up the screensaver. And we have four sources we can now choose for the Apple TV videos. So we have the 2015 Apple TV screensavers. I can click on this. Now here, for example, you can say, I'll take any random screensavers from that year. I'll take daytime videos only, nighttime, or according to local time. So if you set that to local time, that means if it's evening for you, then the videos you'll see from that category will be evening ones only. Now for the other three, you have either full HD or you have ultra HD. It's worth mentioning that if you have limited bandwidth or if you have limits from your internet service provider, then I wouldn't recommend using 4K, but let's go for 4K for this one, 4K for that one, and 4K for this one as well. But for example, let's say you only like the 2019 ones, then for the others, you can actually just disable that. And this way you can basically pinpoint or choose exactly what videos get displayed on your device. Let's go down. I like to leave the show clock and the location enabled so you can see on the bottom left of the video whereabouts in the world you're actually watching that scene from. And this one I can leave off. And we can now click on test. Give that a second. And we are now enjoying these amazing Apple TV 4K screensavers on our Amazon device. Let's back out of that. And if any of you guys are still with me, then if you leave the comment below hashtag dreams, then I know you made it this far in the video, which I really appreciate. I'll then heart that comment. Let's go back to the toolbox. And let me actually set the thing to one minute, just so you can see that the timeout is working properly. But personally, I'll leave it at five minutes or at least five minutes before the screensaver starts. Let's click on save. And let's see if that actually starts in one minute. Now, while we're waiting for that one minute to pass, now, let me just take this opportunity to say a massive thanks to all of the new members of my channel. Your support really does mean a lot. And if any of you guys want to sign up, I'm doing a special promotion for the first 200 members, whereby all of you can join my private chat group. And in this chat group, we can talk about stuff. We can provide support to each other and we can even share our APKs. So some of those applications, some of those toolboxes I'm working on, you guys can get early access to them. So if that sounds of interest to you, do have a look out for the join button. Thank you. And right on track, we can see that the screensaver has properly started in one minute. And here we can just see we're looking at a beautiful scene in Hawaii. Uh, let's back out of that. Now, if you want to go back to the stock Amazon screensaver, just click on disable aerial dream. We can see it says that the default screen server is now restored. Also go down here and click on reset values. So go back to five minutes for the screen saver and 30 minutes for the timeout. Click on save. And just like that, we're now back to the default settings on our Amazon device. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. As I've said before, just because I find a solution to an issue today or a workaround or a fixed, it doesn't mean I'm not gonna find a better way or a better solution in the future. And as we can see with this method, it's just so much easier than the previous method. So if you did find this video useful, then do give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff like this, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. As always, I always appreciate your likes, your shares, your comments. So do let me know what you think. Leave me a comment below and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.